This week, we're going to talk about the second aspect of your frame, and that is your faith. Uh, it goes family, faith, fitness, and finance. In the first uh, couple of weeks that we talked about family, we talked about our wives, and we talked about our children investing and making deposits inside of their hearts and inside of their lives. Um, but now we come to you, your inner being, your spiritual life, your self. And we must understand that we must make deposits inside of ourselves also. And so I'm going to read from you a scripture real quick. It's uh, Ephesians 3.16 if you want to look it up. But it's Paul's prayer for um, the people that were given to his care. And he, he prayed that God would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man. And that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith and that you might be rooted and grounded in love. And so what I want to focus on is these key words that Paul talked about, the strengthening um, by his might, uh, by his spirit in your inner man. So we're going to have a little quick Bible study here real quick. But the word strengthen here in the Greek means to empower that means to increase in vigor. That means to be strengthened and to be made strong. And he goes into how this is accomplished uh, here in a second. But the second word that, um, that he brings up is this word might. And that is this word dunamis. It's where we get the English word dynamite. And this is a powerful reality to be strengthened, to increase in strength by dunamis. That is his miraculous power. No, it's not our miraculous power, but it's his strength in and operating in and through us. It goes on to say that it means strength, power, and a mighty work. So we're supposed to be, uh, uh, we can be strengthened by his might. And then he goes into how. This is the word by. By is, is a word that means through. It's through the agency of. It's through the channel. And that is that that the Spirit of God is the agent. And here's the thing that we, we leave out the most in, for, in, in our spiritual life, and that is the aspect of God uh, dwelling in us by His Spirit. Uh, that means to me so many things, but the first thing that it means is that I have access to that power at any given moment. Uh, therefore, it gives me extreme responsibility, and it takes away all my excuses because I can choose to access that power or I can choose not to. And so with that comes uh, extreme res responsibility. But uh, that power, that ability is available to us to access if we are willing to make that choice. So at any given situation, if I need uh, comfort, if I need strengthening, if I need God's ability operating in my life, that... I just need to reach out and I need to believe that it's operating for me to experience the reality of it. Now, this is extremely important inside of recovery. So strengthened by his spirit in your inner man. And that is what we're talking about today is that this, there is an inner you. This, is, this body here, it's just flesh and bones. And uh, someday this, this will decay and it'll fall to the ground. And what's on the inside is me. And so that means that I need to be proactively thinking about building and strengthening my inside, my inner being. And that, that what, um, that's what this conversation is about tonight. And we're going to talk about the inside, the inner being, the spiritual life, and how we can build and strengthen that up.